Let's see how we turned this damn thing on. Here we go. I don't know what we're going to work on today, but we'll work on something. Tequila game time. Let's see. Single player. Load this son of a bitch. Let's see what we're going to do. All right. So one of the things that I was thinking about today is um, just making a, uh, I guess it would be like this thing, like uh, instructions for a rogue tequila. Rogue tequila would, the definition of the rogue tequila is going to be a tequila that was made for a contract but failed. So it'll be in the line and um, at some point, I guess it'll, you either have to trash it or you have to um, give it to a different contract. So let's see. Let's see how I want to express that. Oh, yeah. And then I thought of a new um, action. I mean, not a new action, a new thing. So if we're going to say. In these two cases, we're going to say this icon is player, player, turn. And then this one is game round. And then I have one more, which is going to be, we'll do this and then we'll do a circle, circle. Do, oops, let's go ahead and move this over here. We'll ungroup, get rid of this thing. Oops, get rid of this thing, and get rid of that and that. Move this over here. I guess I got rid of my circle thing. That's all right. Um, put a white A. And I guess to be fair, this should be gray so that it, it can be anybody's turn. Let's go a little darker. I'm going to put that closer to the middle. And we'll take a look and see what that looks like. And we'll get this. And we'll just put this in his leg. So that means player action. So what that essentially means is once I take an action at the end of my hmm, end of my player's turn, oh, that I can move this by basically doing an action. My turn isn't over. I've got two things that I can do. I can play an action or, or use a cube, play an action disc or use a cube. This says, move forward once I use an action disc, but I can still use cubes before my turn is over. So this is during, this is player action, player turn, so when my turn's over, this thing will move, or whatever, the tequila will move. And this is at the end of the game round. So these are the three different things that can happen. Let me go ahead and save this. 
it's kind of strange actually uh oh that's not good I don't have my flash drive give me one second I need one of those little uh... please stand by little holding bars or whatever okay here we go so we'll go here let's try it again maybe this time we'll be able to save it in the right place there we go this uh, these are gonna be we're just gonna call it an action map it's not a map but I don't care what I call it last thing I care about is what I call shit okay so we got that done then let's talk about what actions can let's talk about rogue tequila one thing we need to do is go ahead and make what rogue tequila is so let's let me go ahead and do this this is going to be just a um, a tile you know later on we can we'll fix all this stuff and put it into a uniform place but okay so here is a tile and on the tile we say a let's go ahead and make this wider it takes a any action to claim a rogue tequila so let's make an icon for rogue tequila um, we'll just make it like that we'll do that we'll oops we'll put an outline around it then we'll put an R for rogue Okay, so now that we got that, let's go with a darker gray here. Okay, let's see what we've got a five stroke there. This is a four stroke, so we're going to go to five. We're going to make we're gonna create outlines. We're gonna group it. We're gonna make it slightly smaller. Let's go ahead and turn those outlines into a stroke. I mean, turn the stroke into an outline. Um, we'll do this thing as well. Expand. All right. So this. It's not really equals. Um, because it's basically as an action take. Uh, I don't know what we'd use as a. We'll just say take. We'll figure out an icon maybe later. Iconography for it. Da da take an R tequila okay we'll go ahead and make that so, oops I don't like the way that looked so we'll grab it like this and that'll maintain the outer edge look okay let's make this over so that's how you take a rogue tequila is you use that of course, you can only take a rogue tequila to put it on a contract. So let's look at that and what that would look like. So let's go back here. And here is our tequila. Okay, so we would basically need... Is it this one that's similar to it? That... No, no, I think it was the next card. Okay, so if we had the next card... And it was available here, we would use an action, any color action. So we just use it. And then we take this rogue tequila basically we put this A on it this tequila is that we will 
put the right stuff on it. And then now the question is, do they get the bonuses? I would assume they wouldn't get these bonuses for creating it. But there would, there would be a but they did finish the card. So that's two different things. You get one for making it and making the process. So this is not technically making the process. It's already made. But by doing this, they get the bonus here, and that would be two happy faces per thing. So they would lose six happy faces for taking that rogue tequila. That would be a cheap way to do that. That's interesting. So as long as I can remember, that's how it would work. So the other thing we need to do, so these these things are all stacked on this tequila because it's a bad tequila. This was right here. Let's go ahead and make the rogue. Um, oops. The rogue sign. Oops, not like that. Go here. We'll get this. Make a new window, paste it, make it huge, save it, save it as a JPEG, JPEG, put an A on it. And I don't know how many people are watching or who's, who are interested in playing with this thing, but at any point, anybody can reach out and they can have access to this file any of these files or to mess with it or give me ideas or whatever I don't really care I'm uh, I'm open there's not that many people who watch this who would be interested in, in doing that but if you are reach out and you can have access to this thing okay so here's the rogue token let's go ahead and make some rogue tokens and we'll put those over here Look at all those rogue tokens. So this thing would get a rogue token. There it goes. Rogue tequila. Awesome. So let's go ahead and make oops. Our little key thing to tell us how to do it. So bam, this takes a tequila, a rogue tequila. Um, where's the other thing? Also, we're gonna do. We're gonna put these actions on there. Also, let's create outlines, which would be that, and then let's path outline stroke. Then we'll also put these here just to give us instructions. Let's go ahead and Y, group those, group those, group those. I don't like how this thing doesn't have an outline, so let's give it an outline. We'll give it a dark gray outline, maybe. No. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. I copied and pasted an original version. I locked that down. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Okay. So now I have a meeple there. We'll do go with the meeple. We'll go with the darker gray. Then the other one has. That's probably too big. We'll see. Uh, it's kind of funky, isn't it? Let's go lighter. That's good enough. Okay, cool. And then let's center this one. Okay, player action, player turn, and game round. Is that over? Cool. That's also something we'll save. Save as action map to. I like to make way too many copies of everything. And then, oops, poops. Let's see if I select that. Let me go path outline stroke. And then 
so this thing doesn't distort. Let's make it huge. Bam. Then save it as a JPEG. Okay, save it as a JPEG. Give it a unique name. Go back here. Use that as a substrate. Make it smaller because it's obviously too big. There's more information, which we'll put over here for now. At some point, we'll unify these. All right. I like what we've done. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so tequila goes here, then it moves, then it moves there. At the end of the round, it'll move over here. Uh, we can change these icons if we want to to make them faster. Uh, I thought, I, okay, so we have these dice here, which means that, that it gets a random water if we can't get a water on there. Um, at the end of the round, it goes here. And at the end of the round, this one goes here. That one goes there. This one goes here. That one goes there. This one would go there if it's open. So what if it's not open? I guess it won't go there. We'll just say it won't go there. We'll just make that a rule. Next thing to think about. Is there a next thing to think about? Let's go ahead and save it. wrong thing it's not object it is games overwrite okay what else is there to build that might be it for building stuff I mean there's of course working on the cards to show that these are two bonuses per card but maybe not okay so let's make Let's make a card display of how many tequilas we can have. And I've been kind of fighting whether I should do this or not, but I don't like the idea of too many uh, cards. So let's let's do something about that. Let's see. Let's go to get one of the cards that we already have. Curd. Open that sucker up. Get this thing. Okay, in all games, let's just say for now, it'll probably change later. In all games, oops. Okay, in all games, we'll have the house tequila. So, we have to have three slots, at least for that. One, two, three. And then, we'll also have one for um, a contract and then we'll have one two for uh, other types of contracts so this is what it's going to look like and then let's add that and that and we'll just say for now <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot We'll say this is the fourth player and this is the third player one. These are no longer third player. Actually, let's go. It feels right to do two each. And actually, let's see. If we were playing and it was three players you go boom boom and it's fourth player you go, yeah yeah that's good enough cool
okay so let's say you can trash uh, a thing so let me see let's go here let's go trash um, icon so here's how the sausage is made you go trash icon we go images and we want something big so we go here no not there tools we go size we want large okay and then we look for something really simple something that will only take us a second to make and that actually looks like a trash can so a trash can that is simple to make and that looks good uh, maybe these let's open these in a new tab and see what the tab looks like okay we'll open image into a new tab we'll copy this then we'll take this into illustrator now these aren't uh, okay so I am stealing icons but these aren't gonna be what ends up in the game so it's all good this is just for a us doing the game so if you look at the bottom is rounded and the top is flat so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take this and see this has rounded edges they're too rounded so let's change this to something that's less rounded so let's go 0 0.05 that's much more better oops so we're gonna put this here And this is going to be our trash can. Okay, so if you'll notice that their trash can is straight here at the top, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to wireframe. We're going to select these points, which are these four points, and we're going to bring this up. So we're going to go back, and then we're going to find where that edge is. There is the edge. So what we're going to do now is draw a straight. A box to get that straight line there and let's just so you know what this box is on the top of this so let's go we'll put this in the front we'll arrange this in the front and we'll select that and we'll do something called pathfind and we'll remove it's basically going to remove everything that's where they overlap so we're minusing the back boom then what we're going to do is get rid of that cool so now we have that so let's turn it to do we'll just turn it to an outline so that you can see what it is so this is this is what we have cool that's good all right so let's look at this thing let's analyze this and see what it it's composed of it's composed of um, a shape that has rounded edges so let's see what happens when we go to our box that has rounded edges what is it going to look like if we just did that let's uh, close that and let's just paint it red it's not too bad I think for uh, for what we're doing it'll be fine this is what the bottom would look like with it and then we'll get rid of this is the JPEG this is what we'd be looking at so far looks great let's go ahead and hide those and then make this thing here okay so this is comprised we can do it one of two ways we can either make one way is to go on the in middle of here so we could go in the middle right kind of make it like that and what we do is we thicken it up right but the problem I don't like what it's doing to the inside see the insides becoming square but the outside is not so what I'm going to do is make basically the shape, this outside shape first. My edges, let me uh, do it this way. My corners are too uh, square. So let's, let's change that. We'll change this. Let's change it to 0.5 and see what how wide that is. Wait, wait what? 0.5 is too big so let's go 0.1 okay so it's gonna change how it looks when I squish it together here here and I go like that 
and I go like that my edges don't look anything like it what I could do is let's try we'll go two five try a quarter that might be way too much let's find out Can I bring this in no it's not too bad so that's there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this part off of it and the way that we do that is see this is in front we're gonna bring this to the front and we're gonna minus back again this is gonna minus the back and there's a reason why it overhangs here okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this smaller I'm gonna see if I can mimic what this insides doing with just this piece and it doesn't look like it I can probably do something like that and then take this edge bring it out I'll take a look at it bring it in let's uh, do that see if we can bring this in bring it into about there and then bring these I'm gonna select them individually these anchor points there oops this is that illustrator uh, knowledge that you ain't craven bring that to there maybe we'll go a little further down oops. this is not easy to do I probably need to make it bigger here we go okay so here oops we're gonna paint that red I will paint it green okay this is behind it so we're gonna minus the back again boom okay what we're gonna do is turn that red and then merge these together expand boom we've got our trash can let's take a look at it there's our trash can so now that we got our trash can we had something going I guess we are headed in the same place let's see we don't need any of that anymore we'll, we'll move it all we got our trash can let's bring this down a little bit and we're gonna say oops let's, let's group this together we're gonna make we're gonna say something we're gonna say um, in order to empty a spot it takes a cube I'll make that dark gray let's get a cube we'll make that gray we'll say it takes a cube to trash equals trash I don't like to let's go lighter let's go ahead and put a black background on it and see what it a black uh, stroke around it black needs to be thicker it's probably way too thick need to be about 50 fitting nice I don't like the gap I think it needs more of a gap there but I'm a big person about gaps okay so we're gonna bring this down a little bit to give it a gap there it is there's our trash can and let's say equals oops we had some problems oh no what happened here something happened bad let's go back here I don't know what happened over there something some cascading windows I'm not even gonna look I'm scared to look uh, equals create outline 
So it takes a cube to trash. Let's group these together. And it takes a cube to get a new card. Let's make a card icon. And all we're going to do is basically copy the icon we already have. Equals card. Curd. Let's go ahead and give it a lighter color with the black outline. How about opposite that? Black. There's a game convention at the end of the month in Austin. And I'm trying to, I think I want to go. It would be cool. Card. Let's see. We'll go like that. Okay. So that would act, would be a card. A new contract. That would be cube to trash. Cube to card. And those would be our icons for now. Maybe there's some other. Let me save this. Uh, trash save. And then what we're going to do is get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe that make this look a little more better that in that'll be it for now on this part and then we'll save it as a jpeg and then we need to copy that paste that open that cloud upload Import, cancel. Let's move these cards. Let's enlarge the hell out of this. If I was smart, which I'm not, would have been a better deal to make this like everybody else does and put it like a half a card at the bottom. And you just like uh, line up to the bottom. Just remember that for the future, Mo. And stop talking to yourself. And it needs to be a little bit more bigger. Put it like that. Lock that son bitch down. Cards can go here. And we'll say in the initial thing, we'll have definitely that one. Then we'll have one of these and then we'll have let me turn these over then it would have like two of these and what would be cool that yeah, we'll just say like that maybe you can open these up also like these numbers are to say what comes out there first well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't seem like enough cards. Cards. But maybe it is. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it needs to be way bigger. But I'm going to save this anyway. And then we're going to call it. So that it's not too long. That's what she said. Anyway. Um. Put on Twitch if you like what you see, like notifications, or if you see this on YouTube, uh, turn on notifications, maybe follow me, maybe like the thing, maybe tell me what you want to see more of, and I'll do it. Anyway, let me turn this damn thing off.